candy corn. Mm -hmm. And that's where we find 20. Candy. Candy. I'm about candy corn. Yeah, it's still. Candy. Well, we all, we all do. <laughs> Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups, whatever. Yes. Uh, 23 ABC meteorologist Allison Gargaro on the road tonight with a trunk or treat event. Lots of kids holding their uh, back buckets out for that candy tonight, Allison. Oh, kids are so excited. There's actually a huge line just to my right. Again, doors do not open until 530, but everybody is getting set up. So organizers are expecting more than 3000 people to show up to this event tonight. So make sure that you come early and are packing your patients. But don't worry, there is plenty of candy for everyone. And one way that you can get candy is by grabbing one of these bean bags. Let's see if I'm going to even get any candy tonight. Nope. One more. Okay, I get one piece of candy, <laughs> but there's so many fun carnival events. There's also a lot of information for kids to be learning, but this event is going to be great. Again, as soon as the sun sets, temperatures are going to be dipping, staying well below seasonal this afternoon, and that trend's really going to continue as we head into the week. But something that we are tracking is that critical fire danger in the Kern County Mountains. So we have been tracking a red flag warning that is actually going to be expiring at 6 p.m., and that's due to the dangerously dry conditions that we are seeing and those easterly winds and you can see humidity values in the Kern County mountains and desert are near that 10% mark. So that is bone dry and it looks like it's going to be staying that way for at least the next several afternoons. So like I said, that red flag warning will be expiring in less than an hour. But something that we are tracking is another round of easterly winds beginning early Wednesday. So we could be seeing yet another red flag warning then. So that's something that we will continue to track. But what we are seeing is an air quality quality alert. So as you can see, there's a lot of haze in the valley right now. That's due to smoke impacts from surrounding wildfires that are making its way into the valley. This will be impacting us until Thursday night. So try to avoid prolonged outdoor exposure and stay indoors if at all possible. So air quality is technically in the moderate range with an AQI of 91 tomorrow, but we are still going to be seeing that haze due to that smoke. But let's talk about these temperatures. Staying below seasonal for the rest of the work week in those low 70s, upper 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday and Halloween a high of 70 degrees. That means we are going to be seeing overnight lows in the 30s. So it is going to be chilly out there for all of those trick or treaters. Yeah, Kern River Valley looking at a high of 66 yeah, degrees tomorrow, 59 into Hatchby and Fraser Park, and they will be holding on to those upper 50s for Halloween. But you guys, you got to come check out Trunk or Treat in Oildale. I've seen some pretty impressive costumes, butterflies, the Incredibles. That was a whole family. So that was really cute. So we can't just see, can't wait to see what Halloween costumes you guys have and see just how much candy all the kiddos can get. Back to you guys.